Alright guys, so from the name of the channel, you can obviously tell that I love Super Nintendo games. That's probably my favorite system, aside from, you know, like, I love Atari. I still love my Atari. I, I, I love my Atari. That's that, that was my first system, actually my dad's system, but the first system that I grew up playing, we got a Nintendo, and I don't want to go into the whole uh, how I started collecting at this point, but... Uh, but uh, back to the pickup, so I finally found some more Super Nintendo games because it's been really dry all over where I've been going lately for Super Nintendo stuff. So first thing I picked up was Goof Troop. I heard a lot of good things about this co-op style. Um, that was actually one of like uh, the top 15 games that I was hunting. I saw a review of it a few years back. Uh, really happy to have that, and it wasn't that bad either. I think I got it for $6.99. Uh, next... Primal Rage, have it on Genesis, saw it there, it was $3, I had to pick this guy up too. And F-Zero, I have F-Zero in my collection already, pick this one up, this one's definitely a label upgrade, not that that really matters as long as the cart works, but it looks really nice and now I have uh, an F-Zero for trade bait. Next up for my Videotron pickups were some NES games, so I'll just go through these. All carts that I needed, Total Recall, it even says Schwarzenegger up on the top, and we actually just watched Total Recall the other day. Still holds up, I like it better, not to say that the remake is horrible, I still like it better than the remake though. To the Earth, know nothing about this game, looks like a shooter from what I can tell from the label. Never played it, need it for the collection. Friday the 13th. Fun game, despite what some people say, I always enjoy the game, never beat it, fought uh, uh, Jason a couple of times, almost said Freddy, and XEXYZ, I don't know how to pronounce it guys, I'm not going to try it, I'm not going to butcher it, I want to play this game as soon as I'm done uh, recording, just to see what it's like, um, if you know, let me know, I'm going to say shooter, just because it's got that space background, but I could be wrong. Um, so, continuing with the Videotron pickups, uh, as I've mentioned before, they have this uh, 10 games for $25 deal right now on GameCube, PlayStation 2, and the original Xbox, and they seem to be refilling their, their coffers, their, their stock, pretty regularly, like every time I see the, the stacks going down, I figure, okay, this is it, they're done, it gets filled back up and there's always really good titles like if you remember a few episodes back I found a couple of the Resident Evils I found the the Mega Man collections and uh, getting the Mega Man collections like that like if you want to get X or X2 right now you're paying a uh, pretty penny to get them but I have no problem playing uh, them all on a PlayStation 2 disc because really you're just playing it for the enjoyment I know there's some people that want to say look I have the cart on my shelf but you know, at the end of the day, that was never the, the biggest thing for me. Like, obviously, you know, if I find a little Samson, I'm going to be friggin' doing a backflip, and it's going to be on my shelf. So the games that I picked up are Pirates, The Legend of Black Cat. Uh, no book in that one, but the disc is in really good shape. Uh, this one, Ninja Turtles. It's that newer style, I guess, from the early 2000s. Uh, mutate your turtle as you play. It seems to be a cool mechanic. And I picked this one up specifically because after you beat the game, you can unlock turtles in time. So if you didn't know that, guys, that's a, a good little thing. Like uh, the Splatter House on 360 and PlayStation 3, uh, you beat the game, you can get the Genesis game versions. And this uh, Xbox uh, Ninja Turtles, Mut uh, Mutant Nightmare, uh, once you beat the game, you can unlock turtles in time. I didn't know that, I just, you know, skimming through them and I, I read the back, so... If you were unaware of that, I'd say pick that up. Comes up to like 250 for the cart. Uh, underrated horror game, Cold Fear. I have this on 360. Picked it up for PlayStation 2 just because my PS2 is working way better than my Xbox is now. Um, not to give too much away, you're on a ship. It's very Resident Evil style. Survival horror, you know, you got low ammunition. And what's cool is the ship kind of like... Uh, sways and bows, I'm not sure what the terminology would be, but you have to play according to that too. It's going to really mess up your aim, there's water coming in. Uh, I highly recommend Cold Fear, without doing a review on it. Cold Fear is something that you guys should pick up. Picked up another 
Sonic Mega Collection Plus. This one comes with uh, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3D Blast, and Sonic and & Knuckles. So this is always, I have some in my collection. These are always good if you want to trade off or sell an extra PlayStation 2 that you happen upon. This is always a good title to put with it. Uh, another good title to put with that I already have a copy of, but mine is the Greatest Hits, the red label, so I might keep this one instead. This one is God of War 2, good old uh, Kratos, um, Tomb Raider, this one is the Angel of Darkness. Again, I wasn't uh, a huge Tomb Raider fan like during this era, but the remake that came out really got me back into them, so I am going to play this. Twisted Metal Head On. This is like a Twisted Metal Black with extra levels. Remember when Twisted Metal was like the greatest games ever going? Still fun, but you know, like, it definitely lost some of its cachet. Mike Tyson Heavyweight Boxing. I picked this up because it's Mike Tyson. I'm not even sure if I'm ever going to play this, guys, but Mike Tyson, it seemed like a cool cover. Oh. Uh, I got another one here, uh, Xbox, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. I keep meaning to play this game because I'm a big fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I have two copies of this now. One of them is going to be given away at some point, maybe some kind of Halloween thing we could do. But I have to play this game, guys. If you've tried it before, let me know how it is. We have an Xbox Platinum Hits, Namco Museum, uh, 20 great hits, and it looks like four of them are Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man's on the back. And then, speaking of, Pac-Man World 3. Never played it, looks very 3D. Um, it looks like it's an action-adventure game. On the back it shows uh, Pac-Man running around throwing spinning blades at the ghosts. So those were my PlayStation and my Xbox pickups from Videotron. No GameCube games that I wanted or seemed to... things that jumped out at me this week. Maybe in a few weeks when it gets restocked again, we'll see what we can pick up. A little bit of a toy portion here. Uh, you guys know that I love my dollar store, so I went to go check out uh, what they had this week. And I picked up a little Wolverine. Could be a cake topper. Uh, I'll probably leave him in the package for now, hang him up on the wall, $1.50. And then uh, something that I didn't expect to see at the, the dollar store were these pop movie characters. Now, I originally said that I wouldn't collect them, and I, I don't think I am collecting them, I just picked them up because it was only $3. I grabbed two of them, one's going to stay in the box, one's going to come out. Uh, for only $3, Clubber Lane, he was the only figure that they had, and there was about six of them. Um, Clubber Lane is going to go up on the shelf somewhere with uh, Radun Hagedu, the Connor assassin one. But uh, I just thought that that was weird to see one of these that they usually go for like $20, $25 at other places where I see them. To see him for $3 and just see a stack of Clubber Lanes. <laughs> I got a little Shy Guy, they come in packages, normally you see this at like Walmart or Target, they come in uh, little packages and they're about 3 or $4, dollars. Um, the dollar store I guess picked up a uh, overstock of it or I don't know how they got their hands on it, but these are a dollar now in the same packaging, but it looks like they've been opened and resealed, so you know, it's still a Nintendo product, this is my little Shy Guy, and he's probably the next thing I'm going to make for Perler Beads, if you care, I do. You care? Yeah, you care. From Michaels, Kirby had to grab some more yarn. Uh, right by the cache, those uh, gotta buy things that they usually use to trap kids, it trapped me, was the coin block from the Super Mario series. It comes with uh, um, candied fruit strips, kind of like, I guess, fruit roll ups, but then it's got like sugar on top of it too to make shapes of the star, the mushroom, the coin. Uh, this will look cool on the shelf. It's the kind of thing that I'm into to collect. Almost forgot about this stuff. It was uh, at the bottom of my first pile. This was maybe... Not last week, maybe two weekends ago? Uh, yard sales, like the last trickle of yard sales. And it was actually at the apartment complex that I used to live at, so I knew all the people there. So I got uh, Batman on the NES. 
a uh, little label damage, but uh, this is my second copy. Mine had marker written on it that I can't, I couldn't get off no matter what I used. So this is going to be a cart upgrade. Uh, championship Bowling. I just grabbed both of their Nintendo games. I got the two of them for five bucks. So I'm saying I paid four dollars for Batman and one dollar for Bowling. That's the way I'm working it out. Uh, a boxed. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it's got the game and it's got the booklet in it. I thought that was really cool, especially for there's they have a lot of kids at that uh, apartment complex. So for this older game to be in the box still to have that just sitting there, that was cool. I want to say I paid two dollars for that one. I'm not sure. I think like I spent all my change there. It was like Loonies and Toonies I was using. Um, from another person at that apartment yard sale, I got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I have this on 360, I don't have it on PS3, not sure if I'll ever get back to it, but, uh, I think $4, I saw the games, you know, I was in a buying mood, I picked that up, and for a dollar, from the last table, was The Darkness to another PS3 game. What I like about stuff like that, like, um... When you're going to yard sales, especially like when they're getting rid of stuff like that, like it's always just like the family that they don't keep their old stuff, they're just always upgrading. So the woman was saying, oh, the kids have the PlayStation 4 now, they have the Wii U now, so they're just getting rid of their old games. And usually when you ask, well, how much do you want for the games, they're always like, ah, oh, dollar, two dollars. It's always, it's always great prices with moms. It's usually when it's the kids or the dads, they're ten dollars, twelve fifty, but uh, those were my... Uh, two week ago yard sale pickups. Books that I picked up, so you saw hardcover Wind Waker, hardcover uh, Hyrule Warriors already, this uh, for the coat giveaway, and the Brady Strategy Guide for Destiny. Still playing Destiny, um, I like it. I'm a fan of Destiny. The story is garbage, well not garbage, the story isn't great, it's not Halo and I think that was the point they didn't want to be Halo but the gameplay is amazing I'm addicted to it and I want to go back and find all my loot and crap and you guys know I like to collect my books and also check out this little guy it's like a game paddle styled eraser it was a dollar 99 cents so I picked that up that's pretty cool too right I like it the only thing that I picked up from uh, micro last week was uh, it's used, but it's still in the box. I guess the person put it back in the box. So normally these go for what, fifty or sixty dollars, brand new. I got this for twenty-five, so I have uh, two paddles now. I don't know what games I'm gonna play with two paddles right now. I don't think Kirby's gonna want to play hockey against me right now. I destroy her. Uh, pawn store pickup. The only thing I picked up. Uh, and remember, like uh, that tip. If you go way back to episode two or three, check the racks. Check the ladies' racks, check the CD racks, you're gonna find something good. So it was Final Fantasy VII, uh, three CDs it says, functional in Francais, functionnel, uh, for $10. All the discs are in here, uh, the book, and it is very clean, like, it, to me it feels like it's never even been played. So the only thing I picked up at the pawn shop this week. Okay, the last two things, and I hope the video hasn't been too long for you. Uh, I picked these up last night. Uh, these are two big pickups, and uh, a little weird story to go along with it. Um, I, I, I went to eBay because a friend of mine uh, told me that they were having a sale. I'll show you that one actually first. So, I'm not too proud to admit that I actually started getting into Skylanders. The figures are cool, and uh, the game is mindless fun. So, this Dark Edition... Um, what is it called? Well, it's the Dark Edition Starter Pack, and it's that Swap Force where you can take, like, uh, the bigger ones and break them in half and turn them into new ones. Uh, regularly $100, I'm sure the prices come down a little bit, but regularly $100, now on sale for $25.99. A friend gave me the, the tip on that, so I went to go pick that up. I'm probably going to play that soon to keep beefing up my uh, 360 achievement score. Uh, a friend of uh, mine and I are having like a little competition who could stay higher and I'm up right now by uh, I think 2000 so I want to keep uh, keep pace on him and the weird story I picked up the collector's edition of Max Payne 3 the game was okay I had rented it I didn't finish it so I'm gonna finish it off now 
Uh, originally it said like $69 on it, and then they were selling it for $19.99. So to get the um, cool little bullet uh, key ring, the figure, the game, the steel box or whatever comes in it, like that $19.99 was a really good deal. But when the guy was selling it, uh, the woman started yelling at him in French. And like the gist of it that I was getting, she was saying like, make sure you rip those stickers off and uh, make sure that the price isn't readable. So I don't know what was going on, but I got this for $19.99, but I just found it really weird that like he was putting it in the bag and um, I don't know if she was the manager or just another worker, but she was like kind of like stern with him telling him, make sure you rip those stickers off, make sure you can't see the price on it. So I don't know what's up like, with that, but like if I really needed to prove the price, I have the receipt, but I just thought that that was a little weird. Anyway, so the the box Skylanders game and Max Payne 3 from eBay, on uh, eBay, EBS, and this is I took him out already. He's going on the shelf next. You got your Max Payne here. I kind of wish it was the bald Max Payne, but it looks pretty cool. So, of course, we went out anyway, after I did uh, the recording for this episode, uh, my brother needed to bring his 360 and something was wrong with the door, uh, it needed repairs. So I wound up uh, picking up the Saturday Slasher this week anyway, uh, Onomusha 3, Demon Siege for 99 cents. Uh, picked up another copy of Archon, this is a big label upgrade for $6.99. I grabbed, you know, I never had it, uh, Duck Hunt, just the Duck Hunt cart for uh, $4, just to say that I guess I have it. Uh, I picked up Robin Hood for $4, Prince of Thieves, so this is the Kevin Costner uh, Robin Hood, uh, $4, and for $1.99 I got a Madden 97 sealed, it's even got the plastic uh, hanging tab on the back still. I don't know how well you can see there, maybe like a little bit of the reflection, but it's got heavy thick corners of uh, the plastic wrap, so I'm hoping that it's an originally sealed, not like it's going to mean much, it's only Madden 97, but still another another box sports title to go into the collection. I hope this uh, video hasn't gone over 40 minutes or anything, anyway, those were last minute pickups, so we did wind up going to those Videotrons.